My name is Susumu Tonegawa. I'm a professor of biology and neuroscience at the Liking MIT laboratory of the Pikawa Institute for Learning Memory at MIT. I'm Xiangyu Zhang. I am a fifth year graduate student in Susumu Tonegawa's lab. In the daily experience, we encounter numerous episodes that give you a positive and a negative influence to your emotion. But uh, if uh, we cannot regulate this relative balance of a positive and negative uh, <coughs> emotion, we may fall into the risk of being uh, very depressed or even the worst case may fall into something called uh, post-traumatic stress sy symptom, so disorder. So uh, this study is, is uh, to describe the neuroscientific mechanism or for how we regulate, we control the fear emotion. The neurological process of overcoming the fear is referred as fear extinction. Extensive studies have shown that BRA is a key brain region to encode valence, both positive and negative, and regulate fear-related learning and memories. Previous study from our lab identified two genetically distinct and spatially segregated neuron populations in the BRA. RESPO2 positive neurons located in the anterior BRA encode negative valence and drive aversive behaviors, such as freezing. In contrast, BRA PPPY1B positive neurons located in the posterior BRA encode positive valence and mediate appetitive behaviors. They mutually antagonize each other through inhibitions mediated by local inhibitory neurons. Based on this antagonistic genetic circuit model, we set out to determine whether this competitive balance also underlies fear and its extinction. To test this question, we employed a classic contextual fear extinction behavior paradigm. On the first day, the mice received contextual fear conditioning in which they learned to associate a particular context with an aversive experience, food shock, which resulted in freezing behavior. The next day, the mice underwent contextual fear extinction training involving 45 minutes continuous exposure to the conditioning box in the absence of food shocks. On third day, extinction memory retrieval was examined, with the mice that had received the extinction training showed reduced the freezing level in comparison with the control group that did not receive the training. First of all, we look at the neuronal activity of these two neural populations with two complementary approaches mirroring the expression of immediate early gene CFAS with in situ hybridization and the in vivo calcium imaging with genetically encoded calcium indicator and the mini endoscope. Both measures show that blappp one b positive neurons are activated during fear extinction training and retrieval, whereas BLA RESPO2 positive neurons are suppressed during these processes. The bidirectional switch of this neural activity is well correlated with the behavioral switch between high and low fear states. To investigate the role of these neuron populations in the regulation of fear extinction behavior, we used optogenetic technique to manipulate the activity in a cell type specific manner during fear extinction training. We found that Activation of BLA PPPY1B positive neurons promotes fear extinction learning and memory, whereas activation of BLA RESPO2 positive neurons impair these processes. This result suggests that BLA PPPY1B positive neurons might be a crucial site of fear extinction memory formation and storage. To determine whether these neurons are indeed responsible for the storage and the retrieval of fear extinction memory, we carried out a two-step engram cell identification procedure. First, BRA PPPY1B positive neurons that were activated during fear extinction retrieval were labeled with the engram system pioneered in our lab, and subsequently were activated with optogenetics during a second round of fear extinction training. 
we found that activation of these labeled BRAPPPYR1B positive neurons accelerated fear extinction learning, and their inhibition resulted in impairments in fear extinction memory retrieval. These results confirmed that these neurons are indeed fear extinction memory engram cells. As these neurons were originally identified as reward neurons that encode positive valence in the BRA, we next examined the relationship between the fear extinction engram cells and the reward responding neurons with in posterior BRA. With both CFAS matter and in vivo calcium imaging, we found that a high proportion of PPPY1B neurons that was responsive to a reward stimulus were also activated by fear extinction retrieval. The overlapping percentage between fear extinction and the reward is as high as that between two different types of rewards, such as food and water. Furthermore, we examined this overlap observed on the cellular level is also prevalent on the behavioral level. Optogenetic activation of PPPY1B positive fear extinction engram neurons drove appetitive behaviors. Reciprocally, activation of water responsive neurons accelerated fear extinction learning. These results showing that fear extinction engram neurons and the reward neurons are interchangeable on the behavioral level. In summary, we found that fear extinction memory is formed and stored in the amygdala reward neurons and revealed the link between neural circuits that encode reward and the drive appetitive behaviors and those involved in the extinction and aversive memories. So uh, using this uh, combination of uh, cutting edge technology, shang and my ex-graduate uh, uh, student, Josh Kim, has provided a rigorous uh, mechanistic evidence underlying the well-known phenomena. The phenomena is the uh, omission of expected punishment is actually nothing but a reward.